Look at that beautiful titanite. Hello everyone, Thoranx is here, and welcome back to Astroneer episode 28, where we're starting to make some progress with our base here on Glacio. Things are working out rather well. We've got our large platform C. After much debate, we opted to make a large platform C, although... This interferes with the printing of all of this, unless we do it sort of like this, which I guess, why wouldn't we? So we'll run our connector here, and we'll just kind of bend it like this at an angle. And I believe our printer here can still print things over in that direction, even if the cable is slightly twisted and in the way. It is not the end of the world. I'm, for some reason, a lot more forgiving of cables that twist, because sometimes that happens with cables, than I am of cables that go into the earth, because that does not happen with cables. Thank you. Alright, so now we make ourselves a chemistry lab. So, in the last episode, we spent a lot of time getting down here and getting our infrastructure in place. Um, this episode, I actually want to go down into some of the caves and assess the titanium situation because I would really love to make a, g a generator, an RTG, a radio isotope thermoelectric generator, RTG for short. Boom. Okay, so now in order to make the atmospheric condenser, we need iron, glass, and plastic. And the plastic is going to be made with carbon and compound. Which should be fairly easy. Should be one organic rattling around up here somewhere. There's our carbon. Suppose I don't see a reason to leave all this compound up there, so we'll take this down with us. Oh, oh, oh! Again, you must be already in a slide when you grab an item in order to not drop it. As such. And for our carbon, we just need organic to be smelted. I don't think there's going to be a reason to have this clay not as a ceramic, so I'm just going to do that. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're going to need more glass, so we'll just do that with quartz as well. But from here, we're still going to need one more. We're still going to need one more large platform C to put our atmospheric condenser on. So we need some more iron. Well, we can hold six with this current configuration, and I like that. That's how much I would like to hold. I think we'll worry about using the alignment tool to flatten out this next section of the base a little bit later. And I... Oh, some hematite right here. This. Oh, there was hematite close to home. Well, that just makes my life so much easier. Wow. Yeah, this planet really is the planet of steel production. We're going to have so much steel and iron. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with it all. I just know we're going to have it. Oh, 
Okay, so let's get our alignment tool over here. We'll get this straightened out. Ooh. And that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your alignment tool. You start to make walls instead of floors. Okay. This looks good. This looks good. Move this over here. And then let's see, we're going to need three iron. There's one. We'll just move the glass over here for now. I mean, realistically, with that much glass and ceramic, we could make a whole another wind turbine section if we find we're not producing enough power. But I think the problem isn't power production, it's power storage. We simply don't have enough batteries to last us in between... Well, let's see, because if we don't charge these batteries to full when we do get wind, then it is a problem we can fix with wind turbines. But once we start running this atmospheric condenser, really put this power storage and production to the test. Let's get rid of this alignment mod, it's not doing us any favors. Go ahead and drop off our soil so we can collect more, as always. Smelter will be done. The printer will be done too, but then it'll be running the atmospheric condenser. That's going to be a little heavy. Okay. All right. There we have it. Now, the real question is how much power are we about to use now? Because. I think this is going to be a significant amount of power consumption. And we're going to have a hard time wrapping our heads around it, but we're going to give it a shot. Argon. 100 PPU. Not bad. Oof, and we are not producing enough power off of one battery. Alright, let's make some more wind turbines. And... I guess after we make a couple more wind turbines, we're going to need another medium platform B, which is going to take some more resin. Alright, so we'll run this for resin. Alright, let's stop. Let's stop this. Oh, that burst of wind was short-lived. a dead stop, just a complete stop of everything. Alright, to help us out a little bit, we're going to see if we can't drive the rover up here. It is all terrain after all. Boom, there we have it. I'm not 
not sure what's causing that. That's a little bizarre. glass we used all our glass we have three more iron what is causing that that must be the car battery right discharging over and over as it charges well well that's not no enough of that nonsense please I don't like what that stands for. I don't like what you're doing over there. I don't like any of it. Just stop. Okay, let's go ahead and back up a little bit. Put on the e-brake. Let's see, I think we can do this here. For now, though, the rover doesn't need these. Ah, look at that. Much more power production now. Now we're looking really good. These batteries should just be coming alive. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Well, this one's full. That's partially why. And once this one fills up, this one should be filling up even faster. It's not bad. Okay. Okay. As you were. Argon production. Let's do it. So we still have enough to run the atmospheric condenser and have the batteries be charging while the wind is blowing. Question is, will three batteries be enough to keep us in between the wind? Okay, so we're still not below our, our recommended power consumption. But it does, it does drain the batteries asymmetrically. This battery isn't even draining. Oh, wait, wait, nope, the wind is coming in. And there it goes. And they fill asymmetrically, that's good. Okay, as long as it's filling the one it uses the fastest, it's filling it first. Oh wow, we've already got one full Argon. actually going to go very well. Okay. It's time to see what we have down in the depths of this place, and I think there's no better place to do our cave than right here. Is that steep enough for us is the question. I think I think that's probably pretty good. We want to go nice and steep. So we have a reasonable trajectory that we believe will get us towards the core. Not that we're aiming for the core right this second, but... Oh, look at that. We're already hitting hardened stone. Okay. So the drill mod is not optional. We need the drill mod to progress. Wow. We're going to have all the argon we could ever want. Real question, where did I leave the drill mod last? Must have thrown it down up here. Yep, it's over here with the helium. 
Which we're just going to throw right here on the chemistry lab, just for fun, just for now. Mm, should I grab more compound? I don't think so. There you go. Drill mod one making making work happen. like there's going to be lots of little bits of hardened stone in here. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't fall over, little tether. Okay. We've begun our descent. Based off how we know we have to reach the core, this is when we would reassess the steepness of our path downwards as we intersect this plane. Lots of salvage. Oh, I think that's titanium. Let's tether over to it. Nope. Not acceptable. I'm sure that'll go away. We'll figure it out over time. Huh. Uh, I think we'll avoid that for the time being. too treacherous down here. Not yet. Look at that beautiful titanite. Look at it. Oh, and that looks like... No, that is more titanite. Doesn't appear to be a huge amount of it, though. Whoa, 353 for one of these. We're going to take this back with us. Ooh, that stone is a little more difficult to dig down into. Not impossible, it just takes a little bit of time. No, scan them. Waste not, want not, Thranxes. Okay. Not a massive deposit, but we did score two Titanite. And we're quickly realizing why we're going to need higher drill mods. see any titanite anywhere. I'm going to take these back with us, though. There's got to be more. Come on. in caves. 
Ah, there's a good bit up there. Yeah, I don't care enough. I don't care enough about that research to take up the space of my Titanite. Not at all. Let's not let's not fall down any pitfalls. Stay sharp. Okay, so that was our first trip down into the cave. Not so bad. We've got six titanium for our efforts. Oh, has the wind really not been blowing? Well, we don't need much more argon than what we currently have. Let's stop this. Stop this madness. That's plenty of argon. Mm. Smelting will stop eventually. Oh, nope, there it goes. There it goes, okay. So let's just take a look. what it takes to make nanocarbon alloy. We need steel, and we need titanium alloy. Well, I know we can make the steel, because that's just iron and carbon. In order to get carbon, we're going to need some organic, so let's do that this way just to make it nice and easy. Next, titanium alloy is titanium and graphene and nitrogen. We didn't bring any nitrogen. Oh, we didn't. All that planning. That's okay. That's okay. Do you know why that's okay? Because we're going to travel back. We're going to... No, no nitrogen. Okay, you know what? No, then we're going to bring the stuff back with us instead of making two trips. Maybe we just need to load up with hydrogen. Hydrogen, nitrogen, nit, nit I keep saying the wrong, I keep saying the wrong one. Nitrogen and copper. Okay, that's okay. Let's get some more medium storage printed up. When life hands you lemons, you better be ready to make some lemonade. I am a, I'm a lemonade kind of person. I like lemonade. In fact, I think if you put enough sugar in, in most things, it becomes drinkable. So I don't know why anybody would not be a lemonade person, but I'm sure, I'm sure there are people out there that dislike lemonade. Feel free to let me know in the comments what your take is on lemons and lemonade and things of that nature. By all means, I will I will absolutely engage with you about broad topics of lemonade. In the meantime, however... It's an empty shuttle. Uh, it's such an empty shuttle. Okay. We might as well grab a couple of research items. I hate to go back empty-handed, but I want all the stuff to be here. I don't, I don't really want it to be elsewhere. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. 
All right, let's take off. We're, we're impromptu, we're leaving. We have enough hydrazine fuel. I mean, we could technically tour all of our bases and not worry about it. Oh, Glacio, you were to be our final stop before the nano, nano tube alloys. It was not to be, not this time. Those just like little stars. I see little things like floating out in space. That's odd. Um, actually, you know what? I would like to go to DeSolo. Actually, I would. I would because we're short on tungsten pretty much everywhere we go, and I'm tired of being short on tungsten, and I know that we can we can fix this. Even though we don't really have a landing pad. Or do we? You know, it's been so long. Pardon me, it's been so long since we've actually been down to DeSolo. Did we even... We didn't even set up... This was before we had landing pad technology. Well, in any event, we're going to need tungsten. Alright, look at that. Oh yeah, tethers don't work. No more oxygenator. Mm. I didn't even look at it. 2,000 over, yeah, five hours. Yeah, thanks for the power generation. I guess we could make an oxygenator. Should have made one before we left. Ceramic and aluminum. Well, we do have tungsten here. We do not have this stuff for an oxygenator. Well, that's going to be fun. We can always just grab some resin and um, make ourselves some filters. Or we could just find what we need here and grab it and go. Alright. Onward, back to the shuttle. I mean, realistically, we could use the soil centrifuge, we could make an oxygenator, we could stay down here, we could load up a medium storage with wolframite. I just don't care about it that much. What we need is nitrogen. I don't even need to offload that, do I? Uh, I do. I do, kind of. Alright. Lift off! Look at that, we still have two unused hydrazine tanks. Okay. One... No, that's still two unused hydrazine tanks. And I'm sure we have enough power generation to open this gateway. But the whole the whole goal of pushing towards the end game to getting this nano nano uh, tube nanocarbon alloy stuff, in case you missed it a couple episodes ago when we were talking about it, is to get the portable oxygenator and the radioisotope 
thermoelectric generator because then we're going to have all the oxygen and all the power we could ever need. And then opening up all of the gateways will be incredibly easy. And we can hook them to our rover and we can drive around and we can focus on exploration because we won't really need to gather much more at that point. not there yet. And I think we missed our landing spot. So now we have to, uh, you know, orbit around the Earth. Difficult way. We did use a little bit of this thruster. It's not unused. I don't think the distance between the planets has anything necessarily to do with how much fuel is used, but that would be an interesting thing to keep track of. There's our initial base, our old base. Oh, the base of humble beginnings. Oh, those humble beginnings, indeed. All right, there we go. Nitrogen, of all things. And not just nitrogen. I mean, let's be clear. We're also going to need... Hydrogen. We're going to need hydrogen as well so we can make hydrazine so we don't get trapped there. We should have plenty of power to run this non-stop while we go and gather things like... go and gather things like carbon or I'm sorry copper and zinc I do not want to be without the things that we need again ceramic and aluminum that's not a problem we've got that covered I did not see a lot of aluminum down in the cave on Glossio to be quite fair He does it. There's bound to be some zinc stuff around here somewhere. And of course, there's always going down into the mushroom biome where every resource appeared in massive abundance quantities All right It's not quite 8, it's only 6. And 8 would fill up an entire medium storage. We didn't really get eight wolframite either, so. Don't think that's going to be the end of the world there. I don't even want to smelt the stuff here. I just want to bring it back with us. That's more than enough. Hydrogen, please. Okay. 
So we're not going to be maxed out. We're not going to be carrying the absolute most that we can, but... But we're going to get back, and that's what matters. We're going to get back in a timely fashion. Let's put this back on our shuttle, please. Did you dock into the right spot? You did. Good job, good job. You know what? We should bring some silicone to make ourselves a base. Resin, quartz, and methane. Okay. Let's see if we can just bounce down here and find ourselves some quartz. Oh, look at that. Ask and you shall receive. The, the planet Silva is so full of resources. You just don't realize it until you go down there. But over time, see, over time, this area would become depleted. After enough harvesting, it would, and and we know that. I don't think we need that much hydrogen, do we? I mean, how much hydrazine are we going to make here? That's that's enough for ten hydrazine, for crying out loud. Just take these and add these to the nitrogen pool. Now the nitrogen is for a titanium alloy, which I mean that's enough to make what twenty-five? It's quite a few. And we're out of power again. It's that lithium. Being so short on lithium hurts. Four for one. Ah, oh, that's why they do that. Okay, so what we really need is more batteries. Do we do we need more batteries though? Do we really? I believe in my heart of hearts that once we're making enough generators batteries sort of become obsolete. See, what we're trying to do is we're trying to skip the phase where we harvest lots and lots of lithium for the sake of producing an army of batteries. We're trying to sort of skip that phase. Compounding carbon is plastic. I think we can go over here and catch both of those birds with one stone. So I know there's compound over here. Compound, a little bit of ammonia deeper down. Not really what we are looking for, though. I mean, how nice is it going to be to have uh, to have a, a portable oxygenator? That just seems like that's such a game changer. How could we not go for that? Last 
Fantastic, thank you. This ensures we'll be able to make a shelter once we get back there without having to transport the methane and do it all there. Because even though this place doesn't have the battery power to last through the night, it does have... How is this solar panel not achieving enough sunlight? No, the sun's only just now rising. Yeah. See, it isn't producing any power right now. I'm guessing because it's in the shadow. Yeah, it's in the shadow of the gateway. Whoops. Let's do it like that, shall we? Much better. Okay. Oh yeah, now we have now we have all the power in the world we could ever want. See how goofy that is? We loaded up our sphalerite. Uh, we did not, however, get some copper, and we're going to need some of that. Let's make sure we have both the plastic. Uh, we could make our own plastic. I'm not going to sweat that, though. Let's not even worry about that. We'll just bring the stuff back for a shelter, and then we're going to need some copper, so... I don't even know. I guess we'll just leave our soil canisters full. Copper is one of those things I'm anticipating I'm going to want a lot of, to be quite sure. So let's make sure we can carry eight with us. I mean, look at all the resources, just compound and resin alone in these mountains that we have yet to harvest. What is this floating piece of rock up here? I, I do not accept these terms. Come here. Nope. Nope. No, thank you. All right, let's get as much copper as we can hold. It's all mixed in with this compound, though. Look at it just bouncing around everywhere. I love it. Point, over there. No, not over there. Over here. Ooh. That was a bit of a stumble and a bit of a fall. Good thing we went we weren't far away from our base. Mm, that little skull astroneer face. Danger. Come on. All right, let's go back. Quick as can be, quick as can be. We're going to slide right into safety. Ah, so this episode is going a little bit long. I am watching the time, but we're, we're so close to doing what we want to do. We 
are going to need some lithium, so... Let's make the trade for two lithium here. I think that's a good and proper trade. We'll grab some more nitrogen, because I don't think we're going to want to be limited by that. And I think everything else can just stay here. I'm pulling 96 bytes a minute. We're up to 15,000 bytes. We might actually be able to research everything that we haven't already researched. Buggy. I am curious to see what a buggy is like. A crane is 3,000. Extra large storage, 3,000. This is 5. That puts us up to 8. No, oh, maybe. Maybe not. So we still have the drill head is 6. We might not have enough research. We might have a little bit more research that we have to do. Mm. I'm wondering if we should pack up our shredder and our trade depot, our trade platform, yet again. No, no, no. We'll leave them be. We have everything we could need. Everything we could need and then some. Uh, but I did not see aluminum there. Let's grab some of this aluminum. I'm sure there is aluminum on Glacio. We just didn't see any. So now we shall leave Silva. And head on back. Where are you? On the far side of the solar system. Right past Aatrox and boom. We just have to be patient enough to wait for our landing strip to come by. And we might try, um, we might try to run our windmill chain into the gateway. I'm not sure how much power. No, 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 no. What am I saying? What am I saying? We need to focus on what we're doing. We need to focus on the portable oxygenators. The generators. That's where we need to be. That's what we need to focus on. So now we have... No, 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 no. Slide down. Yep. Take this with you. Wonderful. nitrogen, titanium, and graphene. Perfect. To make graphene, we need graphite and hydrazine. And hydrazine is going to require hydrogen. I can tell we didn't think this through too much. So what we need now... <laughs> no, no, no. This is fine. This is fine. We're, we're going to make this work. We are. I assure you we will. Um, but all we need now is some ammonium and some graphite. And that stuff should be fairly easy to find. The ammonium, we have a massive plane of back on Novus. Um, on the graphite, we can make two at a time. No. No, 
We saw we saw a lot of graphite around here. Hmm. I can see a lot of iron over there. Let's Let's make a trip to secure some of this iron and we'll see if there's any graphite over here. But uh, looking at the time, we may just have to uh, succumb to the fact that we're not going to achieve what we wanted to. Why? Oh, because that has to be on top. All right. We might not be able to get what we wanted to this time. It's just a bridge too far. We're, we're running out of time. That gives us something to do at the beginning of next episode, though. This has been Astroneer, episode 28. A nice long one for your Friday. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. We're a little all over the place, but we're quick, quickly approaching the end game. So I do hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. Be sure to come back next time, as I feel fairly confident saying we are absolutely going to get ourselves some of this endgame construction in the next episode. But until then, take care.